All new at midday, the story the whole country is talking about, in addition to what we just right. covered, a candidate for delegate in the Virginia General Assembly performed a live sex video on the Internet. Susanna Gibson is a Democrat running in a district just outside Richmond, and now she's responding. Ten on your sides, John Hood picks up the story from here. With less than eight weeks until Election Day, things are stirring up in Virginia's 57th House District race after videos of Democratic candidate Susanna Gibson have come to light of her having sex with her husband on a live website called Chatterbait. According to the Washington Post, who first reported the videos, in the live broadcasts that were recorded and put on another website, Gibson asked viewers for tips to perform certain acts. The post was tipped off by a Republican operative who has said to have had no ties to Republican candidate for the district, David Owen. In a statement, Gibson says in part, quote, this is an illegal invasion of my privacy designed to humiliate me and my family. It won't intimidate me and it won't silence me. My political opponents and their Republican allies have proven they're willing to commit a sex crime to attack me and my family because there's no line they won't cross to silence women when they speak up. Gibson, a nurse practitioner and mother of two, says this won't force her out of the race. Her campaign attorney told The Post the leak is a crime, calling it revenge porn. If you look at the numbers, the parties are almost tied there. In a good Republican year, they carry it by a little bit. In a good Democratic year, they carry it by a little bit. Uh, you just don't know. Larry Sabato with the UVA Center for Politics says in the age of Donald Trump, it's hard to say how this will impact voters. 10, 20 years ago, this would have eliminated a candidate from consideration. Today, I doubt it has all that much effect. Sabato says years ago, parties would have tried to cut ties with the candidate, but already Democrats have turned to push for donations to Gibson's campaign fund. I, I just don't know. I think we'll have to watch and see, but it's not disqualified. That much is obvious. And that was John Hood reporting to